All right, so we got something special in the mail that I'm really, really excited to open up. As you see in the picture, we uh, finally got some crankshafts in for the 3S GTE. These particular cranks are 86 millimeter stroke. They are not stroker cranks, but we have four other cranks on the way that are stroker cranks. So these were the first ones to show up. So a total, we had six cranks made uh, completely billet. Same manufacturer that built the 3TC crank you just saw. If you guys saw the video we just put up a couple weeks ago for the spare motor for the red Corolla in Hawaii. So um, these are just, you know, 3S GTE spec now. So let's check these things out. Open up the box. So here are the box. I haven't even opened them up, uh, but I'm super curious to see what these things look like and can't wait. So let's check them out. All right. So these things are sealed up pretty good. Both of these cranks are exactly the same. Let's get these things opened up. I can already see the bling from here. Uh, man, these things look, this thing looks great. Ugh. So look at that. Nice and shiny guys, nice and shiny. So this thing is a absolute beauty. Uh, we get all the options done on it just to um, lighten it up get this thing to match what I ask and what I need as far as you know a spec crank from everything else we've ran before so let's weigh this and see uh, what this thing came out to be on the on the scale let me check that out now so if you guys saw my video on the 2j motor we've just put together you will see the crank in that particular engine build as well as lighter than the factory crank so here we have 38.5 pounds and stock I want to say is 40 pounds so I definitely want to take some weight out of the crankshaft because I don't want this thing to be you know I mean in a perfect world maybe a little lighter would have been better the issue we have is we have to match the weight with the crank that is in the starlet already so this crank that we just got is going to be a spare motor for this and you don't want to change too many things as far as weight so it, even like maybe a, a steel rod compared to like an aluminum rod motor that will upset the 60 foot and change things around so we wanted to target a weight that was really close or even spot on to the same crankshaft that's in in that engine right there uh, we try to target bring the weight down and you know just have a couple pounds less than what the original factory crank used to be we know that worked and the factory block actually supported that so we know how fast we've gone with a uh, billet crank weighing you know 38 pounds already as well so it, it's all worked out it's all been you know it's all relative and we just want something a little lighter than what stock is let's put a stock crank up here as well and see what that weighs now and there you have it factory 3s gte crankshaft 40 pounds on the money that's crazy right on the nose that's nuts so uh, we're a pound and a half lighter than what this factory crank is so that's pretty good that's not bad you know i would have liked in a perfect world about 37 pounds but um it is what it is you know we try and it's hard for them to nail an exact weight you know they do the best they can and um but it's close enough so pretty happy with that so next is uh we're actually waiting on the pistons to come in which should be in any day now uh the block is already at the machine shop so again this will be a spare engine for the starlet the other crank is actually for my car so uh, let's open that one up as well all right just so you guys know we ain't playing around here and we plan on coming out and really proving what this 3s gte platform can do um here is number two so i actually have one already i will show you guys that one as well which i'm sure you've seen in my other videos but i'm gonna have two complete engines as well for my ae86 so there you go another one sitting there in the box brand new so two cranks one for the starlet as you can see one for my AE86 and here is crank number three so we had some options done on these cranks these cranks are all 
built a little differently than this one. This actually weighs 37 and a half pounds. And we went for the polished option, as you can see here. Uh, so we, bas we basically tried to uh, step it up a little bit just to get all the little added benefits. My crank guy was definitely adamant about doing the polishing and all that. Um, they're all balanced, everything's ready to go, but there you go, three cranks in-house, ready to go. Uh, two of these, these two are mine or whatever. This will be spare for the Starlet. And uh, yeah, man, just check these things out. So man, as you see from that video, these things are absolutely beautiful. I mean, we got the polished option this time around. We are trying something a little different. According to my crank guy, he wanted to try, you know, go all polished. He says, you know, we probably free up some horsepower there with how smooth and shiny they are with the oil dissipation not sticking to the crankshaft. So these cranks are the new style that we're using now. We're also trying something a little different with the counterweight. Uh, they're you know just it's always innovating when it comes to these types of setups and things that we're trying to do this was a crank we had made last year sometime you could see one of our other videos that we posted up regarding billet crankshafts that came in uh, these things are absolutely amazing also beautiful pieces anything chromoly billet you know is just completely badass so but uh we're just trying something new and again these things look stunning man I mean they they're just a, they're a work of art you know they take time a lot of guys that inquire about crankshafts, if you want a crank, we can pretty much get anything you want regarding Toyota. Uh, 3TC and 3S GTE, we have uh, the drawings for them already. If you want any other kind of Toyota, we can do them as well, whether it's 2RZ, um, 2JZs we really don't bother with because so many guys are making them already. Uh, I got allergies, they're driving me nuts. But um, yeah, so any to any crank you want, the only problem is, like I tell guys, it takes a while to get, and you know, they're not cheap. So these cranks right here that you see, the polished ones with all their options and everything, by the time they land to our door, they're roughly about 4,500 bucks. So, and they take about six months to make. So, I mean, it's not terrible. Like I tell guys, you know, six months before you know it flies by and you get a solid piece and they come completely balanced. That's one of the options that's included in that price as well. They're fully polished, uh, balanced, and just, just solid, solid units. So if anybody's interested, let us know. We have four more coming for some guys overseas. I'm not gonna reveal their names because I'm sure they'd like to keep their, uh, their race programs and what they have, you know, kind of quiet. That's up to them to reveal what they're using. But um, let me show you the piston that we're gonna use. Here is the piston and rod combo for one of these crankshafts. So this is a powder HD rod. So this is an actual um, heavy duty version of their rod. It also has a 625 rod bolt. I don't think the GoPro will zoom into that. Let's see if it does. Uh, it might, if I give it just a chance. I don't know if you guys can see that there or not. Probably not. It's zooming in on the floor, I think. But um. 625 bolt uh, Trom piston. And thank you, Barry from Trom Pistons. He's supporting our uh, our race program with the Starlet. This is an actual rod and piston and crank that is going in the Starlet for a spare engine. So this is all one unit. So um, you will see when I put this motor together, you will see all these parts again as we uh, keep updating videos with these things going together. So the block is already at the machine shop getting line board and um <clears throat> and main caps put on and all that 
So with the rod, when we ask them to do an HD version of their rod, they basically add a little bit more material just to make the rod stronger. So all these beams that you see here, all these provisions on the rod will actually be a little thicker just to support the power that we're trying to push. So this rod and, and piston combination, we're trying to make upwards of, you know, 1500 horsepower. So big wrist pin, again, 625 rod bolts. Any of this stuff you guys can order from us, you just let us know. Any piston combination you want, any compression ratio, any bore size. We also get the standard powders, not the HD version. For guys that are making, you know, 1,000, 1,100 horsepower very comfortably, it'll handle that. Just, just awesome units. I used to use Carrillo, but I started dealing with powder because they're super cool guys. Um, I got a, built a pretty good relationship with a guy over there named Mario. He's real popular in the VW world, but he has a lot of this stuff available. Sometimes when I need it, they're on the shelf. And they just build a really cool, strong rod. I mean, some of these things, we actually heard a motor in the 3TC that we raced in uh, Hawaii. And we had an oiling problem. Spun every single rod bearing, and the rod didn't even flinch. I mean, the rod held on, didn't even... I mean, yeah, it burnt the big end of the rod, but, you know, it didn't break the rod or do something stupid. So they're just really, really good components. I hope you guys, you know, enjoy these crankshafts. I mean, I just, I'd like to show you guys what we have. And I was super excited once they came to open them up and uh, reveal them. And, again, no secrets here. Show you guys exactly what we use. I like to educate everybody in the Toyota world just to uh, give you guys an insight on the same parts that we, we run in all of our cars. So... One of these is going for the Starlet. This one is actually for me, and this one is mine. So these two particular crankshafts are mine for my AE86. I plan on having two complete engines as well for that car. Um, I'm gonna be running an aluminum rod for the sole reason that it will be my car. I can maintain it, you know, and, and just stay on top of it. A little bit easier uh, to run a steel rod in some applications because like, eventually we don't know if the Starlet would make it down to Hawaii. Um, when you run an aluminum rod, you cannot have the aluminum rod in the motor torqued for a long period of time. A lot of guys might not know that, but that is the case. You should not leave an aluminum rod torqued in a motor um, for an extended period, you know, especially months. You know, you should always loosen the rod, the rod bolt because it'll fatigue the rod. So I'll show you guys actually what we're going to use in R8086. So definitely a different, you know, scenario here with this rod and piston combination. But piston's basically the same, no difference there uh, as far as the heavy dutiness and how strong the piston's built. Um, you know, we're both shooting for big power. So both heavy duty pistons. The only difference here is I plan on running aluminum rods. Here we will have steel rods. If these seem to hold up where God willing we don't have an issue, hey, I might you know, try a set of steel rods also. But in a perfect world, again, since it's my car, I can maintain and do the things that I need to do. I will probably run the aluminum rod. So I already have two sets of these here. Uh, I already have a block machine and everything. So we would, um, I plan on having another set. So ultimately, ultimately is to have three sets of aluminum rods. Um, now that we get this together for the start, we will probably have another set coming soon just to have on hand. That way you don't have to wait. So there you guys have it. Some cool billet um, 3S GTE crankshafts, 3S, 5S, whatever you want to call it. They fit in the same block. And some cool connecting rod and piston combinations. I want to say thanks again, guys, to everybody who has joined the channel. I've gotten a lot of people who have reached out to us telling us that they follow the channel, that they love all the input they get from all, guys all over the world. So I really appreciate it, everyone. I, tried, I, I really plan on trying to do my best to grow the channel put up more videos we go to hawaii i'm going to try and give you guys real up-to-date inputs of what we're doing as we race the car get the car ready over there in hawaii and the same thing from when we race the car here and when we race to start it here in florida so stay tuned because we should uh really start you know picking things up and things should get interesting um you know once we dyno the starlet and get everything there you know we'll be heading to the track and and you guys will see all those updates uh you know firsthand so Thank you, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good week and take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.